you have a higher order representation that points to, which is to index a first order representation and say this representation is a legitimate representation of the world right now. Uh, and if you have that kind of representation, you can see how it accounts for all the three things, right? Because, uh, well, first of all, let's say, why, why do you need to have this higher order uh, tag? Uh, because, well, your, your, your first order representation, that is your visual neurons, fire for different reasons, right? You can fire because you are seeing things. You can fire because it's spontaneous noise, which is huge. Uh, it can fire because you are doing, you know, top-down imagination. It can fire because you are hallucinating. It can fire because you are dreaming. It can fire because you are holding something in working memory, for instance. Uh, so, so there are different reasons your, your 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 visual neurons fire, and I think your brain has to have a way to to do this what we call perceptual reality monitoring, to basically find out the cause of the of the firing of the sensory neurons. And so, so when, when it identifies, okay, these neurons are actually not caused by me, it's not noise, it's triggered by the external world right now. Let's say you have this system, call it a metacognitive system, and that does that, once you're, it's, it's a subpersonal level process. Once it does that, then, then of course, it's a matter of almost a logistic inference because you know that this system is legit because you have lived with that system. This system has been in your brain your whole, your whole life. And this system says, that representation is legit, and that representation said there's a rabbit out there. So, as a matter of, you know, so logistic inference, you can, I mean, logical inference, you can say, well, that therefore, of course, you form the belief that there is a rabbit out there, and that belief is a matter of logical inference. Of course, it's a few justified. Yeah, because so one, take that every step is like logical. <laughs> well, I was making a Sorry, say again. I said, take that, Davidson. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So that was, in the same way, it was so, it was trying to solve the Donald Davidson uh, puzzle. David Davidson, Donald Davidson has, has this famous passage. He said, like, you have your per percepts are, are not propositional, and only propositions can justify other propositions. Uh, so step, therefore, perceptual beliefs cannot be justified. The the, yeah. the relationship between per percept and belief must be causal, but not logical. But yeah. here is a way you can see how it's logical actually. 